Hey everybody, welcome to Engineering Academy and in this video I'll be talking about a two-way down slap. Alright, so a two-way down slap is similar to a two-way slap. So in this situation what happens is that the level of that slap panel is down as compared to the surrounding slab portion. So as you can see here there, so this is the entire slab, right? So these are the slab panels. So here this has the slab. So uh, let me just explode this one. Let's go to home and let us explode it, right? So here you can see that this has portion is down as compared to this portion. So if we cut the section uh, like this, okay. So if we cut the section in this direction and see here, okay. Let us turn up the other more and see in this direction, okay. So we'll see something like this right so this is our upper slab then comes the down slab like this all right so here at this portion there is a beam okay so here you can see that there is a beam like this right so this is your beam and this is your slab portion all right uh, so if you see uh, the thickness of this slab is 200 mm and thickness of this slab is 150 mm so if we draw the concrete So if we draw a 150, let us turn ortho mode and something 150, right? So it goes like this, all right? And after that, what we have, we have got the 200 mm thickness slab of this one, right? 200 from here, somewhere here. Okay, so this is how the section of this slab looks like. So this is 150 mm slab and this is the 200 mm slab, right? And this is our beam. So the beam that you see over here, so this beam over here, all right? Alright, so you can see that the top level of this slab and this slab, so they have got a level difference, right? So this is a 400 mm beam, so the depth of this beam is 400 mm. That is the difference from this point up to uh, this point is 400 mm, alright? And uh, from here to here is 200 mm. So it means that from here this point up to this point it's 200 mm, alright? Okay, so if you see, uh, so the reason for making this slab down may vary according to the requirement right so but in this case if we see the architecture drawing so we'll see that so here is written green deck right so this is the same uh, slab panel you see over here okay so it means that so in this portion of the slab what they will do is that so they will put soil a certain level of soil and over there so they will you know plant grass so that when you fill uh, soil up to uh, this portion and you plant the grass here the level uh, here and here will look same right so this is the reason here the this slab uh, this slab is down from this slab all right so due to this reason this slab panel needs to be made down as compared to this slab portion all right okay so if it would have been a normal slab uh, then the section would look like this right so this is your slab so this is the base of the formwork right and uh, this is your beam and this is your beam and this is your another slab so let us assume that this is not a down slab for now right so uh, this is uh, you know the horizontal portion of the formwork you call as centering and this vertical portion this one we call as soldering okay so they be both make homework okay in this case what happens is that we got a uh, rebars of the beam over here I right? suppose that it consists of four bars right and we got the stirrups and if it is a normal slab then what we have so we got uh, this bar here and we got crank and it goes here right and we got a straight bar here okay so in this way we have got a uh, you know reinforcement of a normal slab so now if you see the reinforcement of this to a down slab so uh, this looks like this right so here so if you begin from this bar okay so this bar originates from here and gets cranked at this position that is 1100 from the face of this beam and goes into the beam over here so you can see there is a beam right at this position and gets one turn and returns back into the same slab and the difference is and the length is 1400 mm uh, from the face of the beam and the another bar so it's adjacent bar so this it starts from here gets cranked over here and goes into the another beam and gets into here again right so here you can see that each bar is alternate and straight similar to the normal two-way slab 
right so if we see uh, these bars so these are the distribution bars that I talked about and these two are the main bars because so this panel is shorter as compared to this panel due to this reason so these two bars are the main bars and these two bars are the distribution bars because we know that the bar that is parallel to the shorter span is the main bar and the bar that is parallel to the longer span is the distribution bar right uh, so the main bar here so uh, one kind so let us see the sort of kind of uh, main bar so it origins from here gets cranked over here and goes into the beam and terminates over there so another beam another bar so it's addition bar so uh, let us begin from here so this bar uh, goes into the another slab that is up to a distance of 1150 mm and we know that it is up to a distance of l by 4 and L is taken off this panel right and this cranking is done at a distance of L by 5 and L is taken off this panel alright so this is L by 4 and this is uh, sorry this is L by 5 and this is L by 4 right and it goes into the beam and gets one turn and returns back into this panel again so this is our so this is L by 4 so this from here up to here is taken as L by 4 alright okay so and this from here he, to here is l by 5 all right so l by 4 and l by 5 you have to remember that thing all right so these two bars are straight and bent up in alternate fashion and uh, and same goes for this panel and this panel as well now we'll see at the side how these reinforcements are arranged all right guys so this is the slab that we talked about earlier and you can see the formwork have been placed now and there are no reinforcement right now except for the reinforcement of the beam and you can see that the slab uh, is divided into different panels uh, by the beams right so you can see that uh, so there are two levels of the slab here and this uh, slab panel is down as compared to this uh, near uh, panel right and if we see this panel from the opposite side we'll see uh, something like this right so you can clearly see uh, the level difference from one slab to the other slab in the formwork all right so here you can see that the bars are alternate straight and they crank and uh, you can see that if the one bar is cranked at one side and the bar is straight at the other end and the straight bar that is at the one end is cranked at the other end right and you can see two layers of the bars and the bottom bars are the main bars that run along the sorry span and the upper bars are the distribution bars that run along the longer span all right all right so if we look the alternate scrank and straight bars closely and we'll see something like this right so here you can clearly see how the bars are cranked at the 45 degree and how the straight bar run along with the crank bars right in the alternate fashion all right Alright, so if we see the bars or the how the bars are placed at the edge beam, you know, at uh, this beam over here, and then we'll see uh, something like this, right? So you can see the bars go into the beam and they, they get turned and written back into the same slab, right? So making one turn and uh, so we know by how much they get into this slab, right? So this is how the, you know, bending of the bars and returning into the same slab occurs at the side, alright? And this is how the reinforcement looks like at the portion where there is step uh, from one slab to the other slab you can see that the bars go into the beam and return back into the same slab making a turn all right so this clearly shows how the bars are actually bent up uh, and how they return into the same slab all right so uh, it happens not only in the step slab or the down slab but also in the normal slabs right so where there is a termination of the slab edge you know the slab is discontinuous in those cases what happens is that it doesn't go into the outer edge and it returns back into the same slab right this is how it looks at the uh, middle portion of any slab uh, reinforcement right so you can see uh, the edges are up due to the uh, cranking and the middle portion there is a pond like structure and the main bars are at the bottom and the distribution bar at the top right so here you can clearly see how the bars are arranged for the two-way slab reinforcement all right so how it happens at the middle and how it happens at the edge as well and as this is the down slab so you don't uh, so your beam is exposed uh, right so otherwise the beam is hidden 
and only the top portion of the beam is seen in the normal slab so that you can see in the two-way slab reinforcement video that I, I have already made all right if we see the corner reinforcement of any slab we'll see something like this so in this uh, reinforcement or in this portion of this slab what happens is that so the bars or the crank and the straight bars from both the sides come or merge at one point and make a mess like structure which is really complex to see for now and if you pause this video and look clearly uh, you can any clear your doubts and how this reinforcement actually go into this portion at the corner reinforcement all right so here the straight uh, longitudinal bars that we you see uh, they are actually the binders that bind the crank bars in one position all right so uh, they don't have any structural importance or they don't uh, come under the structural detailing all right so you have to place these bars at the side itself all right guys so this is how the reinforcement looks like after all the bars have been placed at their position including the binder bars so this much for this video i tried to cover everything for the down slab and everything for a two-way slab reinforcement that i had left in the earlier videos as well all right so hope this video is helpful thank you for watching and take care